Why do we need to call zero underscore grad in PyTorch? Why does zero underscore grad need to be called during training? In PyTorch, for every mini batch during the training phase, we typically want to explicitly set the gradients to zero before starting to do backpropagation, i.e., updating the weights and biases, because PyTorch accumulates the gradients on subsequent backward passes. This accumulating behavior is convenient while training RNNS or when we want to compute the gradient of the loss summed over multiple mini batches. So, the default action has been set to accumulate, i.e. sum, the gradients on every loss.backward call. Because of this, when you start your training loop, ideally you should zero out the gradient so that you do the parameter update correctly. Otherwise, the gradient would be a combination of the old gradient, which you have already used to update your model parameters, and the newly computed gradient. It would therefore point in some other direction than the intended direction towards the minimum, or maximum, in case of maximization objectives. Here is a simple example. Alternatively, if you're doing a vanilla gradient descent, then Note The accumulation, i.e., sum, of gradients happens when, dot backward, is called on the loss tensor. As a v1.7.0, PyTorch offers the option to reset the gradients to none, optimizer.0 underscore grad set underscore to underscore none equals true, instead of filling them with a tensor of zeros. The docs claim that this setting reduces memory requirements and slightly improves performance, but might be error prone if not handled carefully. Although the idea can be derived from the chosen answer, but I feel like I want to write that explicitly. Being able to decide when to call optimizer.0 underscore grad and optimizer.step provides more freedom on how gradient is accumulated and applied by the optimizer in the training loop. This is crucial when the model or input data is big and one actual training batch do not fit into the poo cart. Here in this example from Google research, there are two arguments, named train underscore batch underscore size and gradient underscore accumulation underscore steps. Train underscore batch underscore size is the batch size for the forward pass, following the loss dot backward. This is limited by the GPU memory. Gradient underscore accumulation underscore steps is the actual training batch size, where loss from multiple forward pass is accumulated. This is not limited by the GPU memory. From this example, you can see how optimizer dot zero underscore grad may followed by optimizer dot step but not loss dot backward. Loss dot backward is invoked in every single iteration, line 216, but optimizer.0 underscore grad and optimizer.step is only invoked when the number of accumulated train batch equals the gradient underscore accumulation underscore steps, line 227 inside the if block in line 219. This URL. Also someone is asking about equivalent method in TensorFlow. I guess tf.gradient tape served the same purpose. I am still new to iLibrary, please correct me if anything I said is wrong. Zero underscore grad restarts looping without losses from the last step if you use the gradient method for decreasing the error or losses. 
If you do not use zero underscore grad the loss will increase not decrease as required. For example, if you use zero underscore grad you will get the following output. If you do not use zero underscore grad you will get the following output. In simple terms we need zero underscore grad. Because when we start a training loop we do not want past guardians or past results to interfere with our current results, BQ's how PyTorch works as it collects slash accumulates the gradients on backpropagation, and if the past results may mix up and give us the wrong results, so we set the gradient to zero every time we go through the loop. Here is an example. Optimizer dot step. In this for loop if we do not set the optimizer to zero every time the past value it may get add up and changes the result. So we use zero underscore grad to not face the wrong accumulated results.